All right, just pulled up to Green Tech Renewables. Um, I'm going to be making up a parts list for the attachments I need for these eight panels. I'm kind of got to show you the product that I'm using. So here's the mock roof right here. They have some solar panels attached. Drawn this out exactly what I need. The eight panels, I'm looking at 12 mids and eight ends, and then four sticks of rails, rail, <clears throat> which are um, 12 feet a piece. Um, then two ground lugs, eight MLPE mounts, 16 bolts that bolt to the feet that attach to the roof, then eight optimizers. All right, here's the optimizers. If you haven't seen those before using Solar Edge, these go under each panel and plug into them. They're bolted to the rail. I have the clamps for the panels, clamps for the ends of the panels, screws for the brackets on the roof, bolts, these are the T-bolts that go from the feet to the rail, little ones that attach the uh, optimizers to the rail. I'm just uh, cruising around the back of the building and I'm gonna grab the uh, rail and put it on the top of my ladder rack. So there are systems that come with shorter rails and there's systems that come with rail lists, kind of like rail free. Um, I, I like these 14 foot sticks of rail because the system's real straight and nice, but they are a pain to load and to transport to the job site. So give and take there. I got a ladder axe. I don't care. I'm just gonna strap them there. So 14 foot sticks, put a couple straps on them, um, on the ladder rack <laughs> and ready to go. Just got to the job site and it's raining. It's supposed to rain and snow today. Uh, but that's the roof I'm installing the solar panels on behind me. I'm gonna hurry and get attachments up from the ladder. That bottom row um, is what I like to do first. I can kind of measure things out, chalk a line, make sure it fits and then set that bottom row. And then once you have that, you kind of have something to work on. It's kind of like if you, if you get a ladder and run it across your gutter and set each attachment up, um, you can then um, feel comfortable getting up and then having that row to stand on. Not that it's necessarily strong enough to be really putting all your weight on, but it's there, something to get grip on. So if it does start getting rainy or slick or anything like that, um, I'll be all set. I'll be um, you know good to go. One other caution too, is a lot of the sealants used for solar panel attachments and some of the attachments itself aren't supposed to be installed in whether that's too hot, too cold, or wet. So you gotta make sure you know which type of attachment you're doing, which type of sealant you're doing, and make sure you know that it's going to cure, um, you know, in, in the climate that you're installing it. So a little tip there. I always recommend being like harnessed in and just being safe. Like this roof is like pretty slick. It's like a little uncomfortable. So make sure to be safe, tie off your ladder, be safe. If you're doing any of this stuff, like don't get hurt because of a how-to video I put up online. What I use is some like lumber crayons. This one's, I think it's a Dixon mix of these. I have a bunch of different colors. I have a chalk line and then just a tape measure. Get the dimensions of the solar panels, mark all the rows and then stamp lines where the rails are. That mark right there is three feet and three feet which is you generally your setbacks for your system so you have access um and then you want to measure down um, the height of the panel which is at this shingle line most solar panels are like around 60 70 inches tall and 40 to 45 inches wide and then measure down your next one and then generally what i'll do is i'll count three shingle lines up clamping zones for the rails they usually sit somewhere between like 7 and 14 inches off the bottom of the panel but each panel is different so i'm marking where i'm going to you know place my attachments across um, which is right there and one two three right here um there uh, this roof is pretty slick and so i'm going to just move my ladder around the gutter and kind of measure out where all the attachments um, are going rather than falling off the roof. So that X is my mark at 48. So I'm gonna mark it over to 48 because these rafters are two foot on center. I can also grab my hammer and see if you can hear this. It takes like a, an ear for it and I've done so many of these, but you can hear where the rafter's at with like a gentle wrist and a nice little knock. Um, 
on here. And then I've measured my last panel mark, adding in a little bit more. I'm gonna go like 40, um, I'm gonna go like a, a, a quarter inch over because there's a gap where that clamp goes in. I've kind of marked out one, two, three, four panels and then the attachments for one, two, three, four. Um, so something I've noticed immediately is this attachment is like at the end of the panel and the first attachment over there is like two feet in. So I'm going to split the difference. If I have two feet on that side and I have nothing on this side, I'm gonna shift the whole system over like 12 inches a foot so that I have 12 inches on that side and 12 inches on this side. And so it's like more evenly uh, distributed uh, across the rafters. And there isn't any like cantilever that's going out like way too far. If you want a nice straight install, snap a straight line. Bottom feet in, stack the rail on there. So I got something to stand on. All right, sorry, it's, it's raining pretty bad, so I don't want to get my camera wet, but this is what I got right here is I have the, the panels, let me zoom out, panels, the four pack, I have the rails, you know, that seven to 14 inches, the, the rail mark, seven to 14, um, panel mark comes through, rail mark, rails down there. So that's an example of four foot, four foot, four foot, foot's under that box. This is an example of staggered. Two foot on attachments, four foot, four foot, two foot. So a lot of times, like installers will do that kind of best practice in order for snow load at the bottom or wind load or to distribute the load across different rafters. It's called staggering. Uh, on this job, I'm gonna stagger the top row and then go four foot the rest of the way down. Um, just my preference for how stuff is laid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all the attachments and rails right here. I uh, showed you earlier, but there's these T-bolts. Can't find it. Right here in this bag. These guys, they slip in the channel on the rail. I like this system. And they, when they click, lock into place. And you can tighten them down with the 7 16 or 9 16 So a rail right here, what I like to do is string top and bottom right there and then put the rails on. This is the uh, inverter system I'm using. Solar Edge has these electronics. I got these bolts that go on the rail and twist into the channel, and then these get torqued down. Um, and what I can do is just put it underneath each panel. So kind of center it there. I'm using an impact driver, but in general, you want to be like. You want to be kind of nice to these, just so you know. I have some cables. They plug in um, for PV wire for running the rest of the electrical through the system. So.
All right, so now the attachments are up. I got the um, box in where I'm gonna transition to the attic, just trying to keep it dry. But I have this copper and the copper gets attached to the rail um, using some uh, grounding lugs, um, but basically bolt to the rail and then clamp down on the copper. And then the frames of the solar panels get clamped down to the to the rail so everything's bonded and then there's a ground wire that goes and grounds it so everything's kind of connected if you know what i mean and you're supposed to do that with solar so that's an integral part of the uh, system um so i'm gonna do that real quick one right here now it's time to set all the panels on the roof and this might look like the hard part but it's not if you take your time on all the attachments and make sure that they are level and they're straight and everything's torqued down and your wire management is good panels will go in pretty quickly i appreciate you watching this video i hope that it was helpful content and i will be excited to make the next one for you guys thank you